I thought I should say something about the nuclear reactor disaster in Japan, as I know there are lots of questions about reactors, how they work, and how radiation is dangerous. Here is the Fukushima reactor before the earthquake, and here it is after the earthquake. It sustained considerable damage. In this part, I will talk a bit about the types of radiation. In part two, I will explain how reactors work. And finally, in part three, discuss some of the effects of radiation on humans. In the past, the job of the early alchemist was to change elements into gold. No one could do it, so some reverted to magic. This is called transmutation. Alchemists failed because it is not possible to transmutate elements with chemical reactions. You need nuclear reactions and the energy is much greater than the chemical energy because of E equals mc squared. In radiation processes, an atom's nucleus undergoes a change in the number of protons and or neutrons. I will talk about alpha decay, beta decay, and the emission of gamma rays in a moment. But first, let us express what is going on in radiation by introducing a simple plot. This is a plot of neutrons versus protons. It can be used to show the change of the atom that radiation causes. The nuclei are described by a notation which is shown here. The atomic number is actually redundant because the atomic symbol is given. The atomic weight can vary for different isotopes. If you follow through these steps, you can see how nuclear reactions are written. As an alpha particle is emitted, its atomic number, 2, and mass, 4, must be subtracted from uranium. Uranium is transmutated to thorium. So uranium-238 decays by alpha decay as the alpha particle is emitted. We can indicate that by a change in the point of the graph because uranium-238 has lost two protons and two neutrons, so the lower spot corresponds to thorium. Let us look at some types of radioactive decay. An alpha particle is a helium nucleus, so it has two protons and two neutrons with an overall charge of 2 plus. When an alpha particle is ejected, the mass of the nucleus falls by 4 atomic un units and the charge falls by plus 2. A beta particle is a name given to an electron that is ejected from a nucleus in nuclear decay. When the beta particle is ejected, the number of protons increases by 1 and the number of neutrons decreases by one. A positron can also be emitted. This has the opposite effect to beta emission, raising the number of neutrons by one and lowering the number of protons by one. Electron capture has the same effect as positron emission. Nuclei have quantized energy level structure, but the energies involved are many orders of magnitude greater than the energies of valence electrons. When a nucleus undergoes such a transition, the energy has a very short wavelength and lies in the gamma radiation range. In the next part, I will talk about how nuclear energy is used and discuss the parts of a nuclear reactor.